Hello, hello. This is the third video of my Puzzle Piece Journal embellishments series. I hope you'll join me as I make some embellishments for my junk journals using old puzzle pieces and a variety of materials from my stash. My name is Laura and I'm from the Queen of Mirth. I'm also very grateful to be here with you today. So let's get going and make some art. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is show you these are the pu this is a sample of a puzzle piece and in my previous two videos I have um, I first of all made backgrounds on them and then we did some layering of multimedia layering and now it's time to you put them to use um, I love using puzzle pieces because it's like they say something they're asking a question or talking about completion different things like that. Um, they're, so they're kind of interesting to look at. And these these particular puzzle pieces are from um, puzzles that had pieces missing. Nice to use them up. But you can also use puzzles from the dollar store. Somebody um, put in the comments how the Dollar Tree has them very inexpensively and in different sizes, and I quite agree. Anyway, um, this is a this is a um, an envelope that I made using my Bohemian. It's one of my Bohemian kits. I'll put it in the comment or in the description box down below. I I can't remember exa the exact name of the kit, but it's I know it's one of the Bohemian journals. And on this side, it's a uh, is a um, a mandala. And inside is a map because the, that Bohemian kit has papers to put on the opposite sides of, of um, some of some of the pages so that you don't have a white page. Every page is covered with some kind of a design. In any event, here we are. I thought I would use this. First of all, this is my glitter glue, but any good quality glue will work or any other way of sticking things on like glue stick or um, you know whatever you like the, the double-sided tape is also good now I'm just going to put this on part of of this side because it's going to hang down and I obviously do not want it to um, stick my envelope together no way. So that's pretty good. Um, okay, I'll just do that. And then um, maybe a piece of music would be good. God knows we have a lot of that. And this is a nice one because it's on some vellum paper. And it's okay to glue it down because the glue dries absolutely clear. So I'm just going to do it like that and make sure that my music is going the right way, not upside down. And you know, you can make this with anything, even like cut a circle out of cardstock, whatever. It'll all be good. Um, here's a couple of nice little girls. I'll get there. I gotta get. I want them to stick quite seriously, so I'm gonna put glue right down to their little shoes and to the tops of their little heads and on their sh shoulders and the bottoms of their dresses and a little bit in the middle. Okay, here we are. There. Now, um, one of these tags will work. I 
have to have some I, I just want to make something to hold the hold this down so that the envelope remains closed now let's see I think that this will work perfectly although perfection is not the requirement here I keep using the word perfect and I sh probably shouldn't because it's better to say interesting or it's better to think interesting beautiful different things like that because perf having this idea that everything has to be perfect is not really healthy now I made a mistake and I put I put the um, glue up at the top and I don't want to do that because I want to leave the top open to hold this down so that was not smart that was not perfect and it's okay because I can use that other tag for something else another time but I really should only cover about to here And the down, oh, the bottom part I think is going to be hanging down a little bit, or off, or I mean hanging beyond the, hanging beyond the edge of the envelope. Okay. Now I think that's going to work. It's going to work like this. See. Okay, that's all good. Um, you know, I, I want things to kind of match, more or less. So here's another piece of music. These are just little scraps. I'm just going to let these ends like flap. I'm not going to put glue on them because I like the way they look this way. Now, my puzzle piece. So I'll just pick any and it's going to go like here. Okay. Now, the puzzle piece I want to stick with. Great. I'm going to put the glue on all parts of it. There. So this is how I would, or this is one way of using one of the puzzle pieces in my journaling by helping it to close an envelope or or letting it help me to close an envelope. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. So, and then I can, uh, I can just um, stick this into one of my journals, and it will be fine. I kind of like it. So that's one thing. Another thing could be, let's see what I have here. Okay, journaling cards. Th these are also from the, I think it's Bohemian Bliss, but I'll, I'll check that to make sure. Um, the the um, journal that these come with, and they're in my Etsy, the journal's in my Etsy store. Anyway, and I designed it. So, yeah, I have three journaling cards, and I'm going to just Put the puzzle piece as an embellishment on the card. This is a very, this is happiness for me. Okay, here we go. There's one. 
Now this one, I will maybe, it just adds some more dimension to the journaling cards. It adds uh, another layer and some real dimension and some more, you know, something really interesting. Makes it, um, I don't know, it, it makes the whole thing just a little bit more special. So it doesn't have to be, using the puzzle pieces, it can be very simple, but they do add something to the, you know, to whatever project you're working on, even if you just use the puzzle piece by itself, as in this case. So here. You know? I think that puzzle pieces are rather symbolic, but they're symbolic of more than one thing. And like I said, it's sometimes, um, it's like asking a question or are things really complete or this is completion or kind of what is going on. And they're really, these ones are really quite beautiful, I think. I don't know if you can see the puzzle piece closely. I hope you can. Um, it ha it they have a lot of metallic ink and paint on them, and glitter, all kinds of stuff. And I think it's yeah. In my first and second video is where you can see how the, those were done. So I'm going to put this aside, and let's see what else we can do. What do I have here? I don't know. Let's see. Here. It's a tag. Now this is kind of a long one. So I don't know what I'm going to do really. Maybe. Here's a gray, a little gray crocheted thing. That's kind of awesome. It looks so good because there's a, a blue-gray color running through this. this. This tag was made by me. It's just, I just cut it out and it's um, mar real marbleized paper. But, yeah. Uh, this is some just from an old an old novel vintage and that can go like that and then let's see our puzzle piece This is talking about sportsmen and, um, I don't know. Yeah, I like this better. Oh, 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 this is good. Because it, my name is Laura, and it says Laura and Kate. My sister, who passed away a couple, a few years ago, her name was Katie. So Laura and Kate, that's what I first saw on this page. So that is great for me. Now, I'm just going to... Put my puzzle pieces back and then I think we need something down here and I thought I had some I thought I oh here it is I thought I had some crocheted ribbon and stuff and I do I got this at the dollar store and I love it because there's Quite a bit on on these rolls, and there's three different kinds of of crocheted ribbon. So let's use it. Perhaps. 
perhaps it's not quite long enough. And I have this. I don't know where I got it. I think I, I, I'm not sure. I can't even remember. But I think that's better. Yeah. But I still love this one. It's just not perfect for what I'm doing. There go. There I go again. Perfect. Okay. I think this is the one that I'm going to use. So I just cut it. Here. It might be a little bit too wide, but that's good. I, it's better too wide than too narrow because I can always trim it if it's not quite right. Okay, I think we're ready to go on this one. So the first thing I want to do is stick this on, and it's going to be fine. I don't think I have to trim it at all. Quite happy with this. I, I there. Okay. Now this one I want like this. I don't have my hole puncher with me at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to put the hole in. But I am going to, put, I will be putting a hole right here, and and putting some ribbon or something through it, because that's what I like to do with this tag. Okay, that's good. Now, Laura and Kate are going to go next. I do love old text from old books. It's got the nicest natural um, yellowing, aging, aged appearance. And then we can put this thing here. Now these, I got, I don't know how many, eight of them or something, from Michael's. You know how at Michael's, when you go to their checkout counter, you walk by all these bins of things that are two or three dollars? Well, that, these were in there, and they're really, really useful for this kind of work. Now, time for the puzzle pieces. Which I think are cool on here. Maybe I'll put three on. Yeah.
Now, like I said, I don't have my hole puncher with me right now, so I can't do it at the moment. But I will be punching a hole right here and running some pretty ribbon, maybe like this one even, through there. So it, it, this, this tag will be really good. And I can use this tag in my journaling. The back is for writing on and it's all really good. So I'm going to put this one aside now and maybe do one more thing. I could do this. I don't know what else I have here. How about a postcard? Well, I'll do a postcard and an envelope. Two more things. Okay, this is a postcard that I made and all I need to do, I want to add some texture and some more interest to it. You know, a little collage -y stuff. So here, I think I can put this here. Because, I, and I don't want to put anything here because I may actually use this and mail it to my, to a friend. And so here we go. And then I have this little teeny tag, which is so adorable. I, I don't know if it, if this thing, yes, yes, yes. I don't know where I got it, but it's adorable. And it's tiny, if you can see. And it says, for you. So, let's put that. Maybe here. Or, oh. I want to get, oh, I have to take that center thing out. Okay, so how about there? No, I don't like it there. Probably I'd have liked it under here. So let's see if I can. No, I can. Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, I got it. Um, yeah, this is an adorable little tiny, tiny tag. And like... I don't know where it came from. I have I have a lot of stuff that I got years ago and I just need to use it. Oh yeah, I love this because it covers the the puzzle piece covers the um, the top of it and it says for you. So cute. Now, oh yeah, I said this last envelope now this envelope, I think, is in my Bohemian, I think, it, in, in that same Bohemian um, journal, I believe. I could be wrong. And I need to just put this together. It's so cute. It's the same, I, I, I actually have envelopes such as this, not exactly the same, but um, similar in a few of my journals that are in my Etsy store, if you want to take a look. I love this little envelope, it's so cute. It's just sweet. And I like the way that it's printed on both sides. So here we are, and I think I'll just put a, a puzzle piece on here. Very simple. I think that will go on there. I maybe need one that's a little more narrow, a tiny bit more narrow. I don't know. That's better. Because I didn't want it to o go over the top because I might actually um, glue this into a journal and I'll want the, the um, flap to be able to open and shut easily. So there you have it.
Is that good? I think so. Press it down really well. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's really good. Okay, I think that's enough for today. I'll show you what we've done. And I hope that you will, um, you know, alter some puzzle pieces in your own way, in your own style. You know, use my videos to get ideas, whatever. And um, use them in your journaling or in your life, other parts of your life. Because puzzle pieces, they're, they're great to use. And when you have one, a puzzle that doesn't have, that's missing a piece or something, this is a perfect, um, or it's a great way to use the pieces instead of throwing them all away. So here we have a baby envelope, a postcard, a tag, three journaling cards, and another envelope with a, with a kind of special closure, and a map inside. So thank you so much for being with me today. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you'll come back and see me soon. Um, please Subscribe to my channel if you like it, and press the like button if you like this video. Take good care, and be safe. Bye.